BZH, coming to you here from Big Zach's house. So I know I'm a little late to the party. I'm trying to stay a little bit more active in my videos and my updates. So Sony is coming out with, well, they already have updates for their two cameras, the AS100 and the AS30, as well as the Live Your Remote. Each camera has its own set of updates. And I just want to do a little recap of the updates before I download them and do some test videos. So the AS100 is getting live streaming, burst shooting, motion shot, and self timer. So I'm really excited about the live streaming. So it's going to use a thing called Ustream and you're going to be able to notify people on your social media outlets such as Facebook that you're live streaming using your AS100. Don't know exactly how it's going to work, but I will do a tutorial on how to set it up once I do it myself as well as some testing to see how it works. The burst shooting, I'm pretty sure it's similar like GoPros but they're still shots where you can take multiple shots by hitting, just clicking the button. So I'm gonna do a little bit of testing with that as well. The motion shot I hear is pretty cool. I've been looking around. I haven't seen any videos on YouTube, but it's supposed to take action scenes such as, you know, taking your bike and, and riding it through up off of like a ramp, for example, or skateboarding, something like that. And it can really make the scene look really cool. I'm gonna do some testing with it, but I'm not really familiar with how it is. So if anybody knows, I'd be happy to have you leave some comments and I can add it to the description. The self timer seems pretty cool. I think it has to do with using the live view remote, having no, no, no. the self timer is going to allow you to basically set up up to 10 seconds. You can click your button and then after 10 seconds, you it will start filming or take shots so that's pretty cool i'd like to test that out a little bit so that way if you're doing something by yourself maybe you don't have a live view remote or you don't want to do it on your phone you can just hit the button and then you know start your scene for the as30 i don't know why they did it this way but i'm sure there's some kind of reason the as30 is going to be the camera that you can control up to five with your live view remote which will make really cool scenes if you want to have cameras set up. It'll really help the editing process as well as it's going to now have Wi-Fi without having a memory card in it. So that's pretty cool. I never understood why you had to have a SD card inside the camera in order to enable Wi-Fi. Maybe you just want to use it for different things and you don't want to film. And it's also supposed to help with auto exposure. So the updates for the AS30, in my opinion, are a little bit better than the AS100, except for the live streaming. So, I want to take care of these updates and make sure you update your live view remote as well, because that's going to be the key to having up to five cameras controlled on this. So that everything has to be updated, hook it all up. If you want, I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to do the updates on all three of these products, and then I'm going to start the testing. So, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'm going to start the testing. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe.